Hi, my name is Zach, and I obviously worship here at Corinth Vineyard Church. And today I'm joined by one of our worship leaders, Antoinette. Antoinette, so excited to have you here. Why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Who are you? What do you do? Hi, Zach. Uh, thanks for asking me here today. Um, I am a worship leader at Croydon Vineyard Church, and I'm married to Lankis, and I'm an artist. I'm a freelance artist. And yeah, I love reading and going out for long walks. And yeah, that's me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. And um, I'd love to hear your story, a brief, I know it's always, there's an extended version and a shortened version, but I'd love to hear your story of coming to faith, what that looked like, what, what your journey with Jesus has been. Oh wow, it, 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 I've known Jesus all my life, and my mum uh, was a very strong uh, Irish Catholic um, who loved Jesus very much. Um, so thanks to mum, uh, that she brought us up uh, in the faith and um, as a little child um, I tell a little story I had an encounter with Jesus um, on the way to visiting my, my nanny and my siblings and I were in the back of the car and while my dad was driving my mom was in the front and we were all chatting away and I got to hoard a tin of Rice crispy buns that we had made that morning for Granny, and I was in charge of not letting my siblings eat any of the cakes <laughs> in the tea. Uh, on our journey to to see my Granny, and um, while we were in the car, I had I sat, sat back in the seat, and my feet were kind of in front of me, and I had these sandals on my feet, and then. I saw someone else's feet further further out and they had sandals as well and I was looking at their feet and then I suddenly realised it's not my sister's feet, it's not my brother's feet and I looked and there was Jesus sitting next to me and this is a real encounter and mm. uh, he taught me he loved me and he taught me he was with me and I asked my siblings, has anyone seen th this man? And they were like, no. And uh, I, I just had this real uh, sense that this was Jesus uh, as a child. Um, so that's kind of stayed with me uh, all my life, in my, in my good times and also in my not so good times. When times were hard, Jesus would remind me that he loved me and he's with me. So... Um, yeah, that, that I've, I've loved Jesus all, all my life, really. Wow, that is amazing. And in terms of worship, like what's your journey been there in terms of following Jesus and kind of getting a, a heart for leading worship and being part of teams and... Yeah. Well, over quite a few years, um, even as a child, we'd sing in church. So, and having uh, grown up uh, around my siblings and my mum and dad, we're all very creative, so it's kind of in, in my blood, mm -hmm. um, so to speak. And um, having gone to different denominations, all who, who loved Jesus very much, um, I was part of a worship team or part of a team of uh, creativeness, you know, if there was anything, events going on, um, uh, where my art would, art would come into. So I've always kind of uh, on a journey uh, with Jesus, doing things like that, you know, singing about him, singing to him, um, right up to up to today, you know, being a worship leader at Croydon Vineyard, which I love doing, and. Um, it's it's been amazing. I've had an, an amazing journey with Jesus with that, and I love the fact that He can use us in so many ways um, through uh, prophetic worship. Mm. So you mentioned prophetic worship, and uh, in our church, you've really spearheaded and championed and encouraged prophetic worship. And maybe just if there's anyone watching or listening today 
who's like, what, what does that mean? Like, what's the difference between worship and prophetic worship? Or is, you know, what, what does that really mean? Like, is, is there something you could speak into that? Um, I think it all starts with having a relationship with, with Jesus, having a relationship with God. And uh, yeah, I, I, I believe when you find time to nurture that, to take time out, to listen to God, um, asking of Him, uh, hearing Him speak in your heart, it's not a, a voice that you hear in your ears, but it's speaking to your heart um, through the Holy Spirit and then being used by him and out from that, you know, out from your mouth either a, a word or a verse or a song comes. Mm. He ignites something in us um, when we ask of him um, and when we say, God use me, use me today. So prophetic worship to me is three things and we can all be a part of this mm. um, is that it's like um, a prophet from old and there are prophets today still mm. that speak a word so when a prophet he or she hears uh, God speaking to them in their heart through the Holy Spirit they can speak a word um, like the um, intercessor, the intercessor uh, is a prayer warrior and the intercessor can hear from God through the power of his Holy Spirit and intercede, pray, pray a word. Um, and the last one being the Psalms, the psalmist is, it sings, sings out songs, um, hears from God through the power of his Holy Spirit and sings a word or a sentence. Um, so the prophetic worship, I believe, is those three things and many more things. We could go on yeah. about mm. how he uses us through uh, arts, you know, through poetry and, and uh, paintings and just going out looking uh, at nature. He, he speaks to us all the time. It's just us fine-tuning. It's like turning a radio um, button and fine-tuning that, that station that you really love to hear. Mm. It's having a heart to hear what God wants to say to us and then bringing that out in a prayer, a word uh, or a song. And we, we all have a part to play. We can all do that. Mm. And how, how have you followed, or how do you follow the lead of the Holy Spirit You know, in, during a time of worship and I've seen you do this when you have a microphone leading worship on backing vocals um, from from your seat in the congregation like during a time of worship I've seen you step into this and it's super encouraging and I always wonder like what how, how do you personally kind of hear the voice of God or, or sense something from the Holy Spirit and then have the boldness and the courage to speak it out in a moment of, of worship. What, what does that look like personally for you? I think it all starts from having a relationship with God mm. uh, every day, in your everyday stuff, in, in, in what you do, mm. um, inviting him into everything that you do. And it's, it's within that relationship that you have with Jesus, that um, you ask him, you, you, I, I ask God, you know, what, what is it you want me to do today? What is it you want me to say? Am I going to meet somebody, Lord, that you need me to tell them something? So they're the kind of things I ask, and then I wait. Um, sometimes he tells me uh, in pictures, uh, sometimes he tells me in dreams. Um, sometimes I could be listening to a song on the radio, a Christian song, um, or even a secular song. Um, and it, it, I think because I've been open to that for so long, it just comes naturally now. Right. Um, but sometimes I can block that. Sometimes I, I'm, I, I'm either worried about something or 
you know, the flesh gets in the way. Mm. Um, I can't remember where, but in somewhere in Philippians um, chapter 3, it talks about putting no confidence in the flesh, but only in God and, mm. and His Holy Spirit. Um, so I don't depend on that. <laughs> you have to depend on God. Mm. Um, sharing and telling me what he wants to do or what he wants to say um, and yeah on a, on a Sunday morning sometimes it would come just on the day but it's because I've spent time in the week you know because as I said earlier on we, we, we are all worshippers and it's not just about prophetic worship it's about worshipping God every day so yeah it, it, it it comes into its own on the Sunday. Then God says, "Okay, can you speak that now? Can you can you do that now, Antoinette?" And sometimes I'm I have to weigh it up: Is this me, God, or is this you? Is it is this you talking to me? But over time, you know, it's it's practice. It's you you have to step out. You have to take that leap of faith. Mm. <laughs> And um, in your faith, you know, we're all growing. It's all a work in progress, isn't it? We, it, we're on a journey, and prophetic worship is very much the same. We're on a journey of prophetic worship, where we can all be part of that. But when you step out and you're obedient to what God wants you to say or do, the results are amazing. People, people's response is amazing, and it's. Um, yeah, it's very exciting to see that God speaks to them directly because sometimes you don't even know what the, what you're saying, what it means, what the understanding of that. But the person that you're speaking to, if it's a direct one-to-one -one or if it's a corporate, uh, either in a small group or a church setting, during a worship time, it's amazing how people um, feel elevated and... Um, their faith increases when they hear God speak to them directly. That, oh my gosh, you love me, Lord. You knew that. How could you? How could you? You know, how could you? And then you hear someone else saying something to you. You go, oh my gosh, Lord, you knew all along. Mm -hmm. And and that elevates me to even do it more. But it's always coming back to God. Is this you? God, is that what you want me to do and say? And then taking that leap of faith and doing it. And the more you do it, the more you grow, then you start telling other people, look, you know, you can do this. Mm. <laughs> it's not just for me, it's for everybody. So yeah, I get very excited when God speaks to somebody and you go, wow. Even I get excited about the results of seeing that. Mm. Yeah. Wow, and, and you mentioned a few times, like everyone gets to play, mm. love that phrase. And you know, this isn't just for a specific person or people, this is for everyone to do the whole body of Christ. Um, what encouragement would you bring to anyone listening to this or watching this um, who's wondering, like, well, I, I'm not a musician, or I, I, I can't really sing in tune, or, you know, I, I, I love worship, but I'm not in the team, or I don't, you know, like, there are people that have gifting in this, I, I do not, you know, or some people who feel like, when they hear prophetic worship, they kind of switch off because they think that's for the worshippers. But like, what, what encouragement, or the worship team I should say, what encouragement would you give to, to those people or to that person who's listening to, to step into this? What does that look like for someone who's not a musician? Okay. Oh gosh, I would say to them, just carry on loving the Lord the way you do and start asking him, like I said earlier on, start asking him, how do you want to use me today, Lord? What do you want me to say? You know, fill your words in my heart mm. and ask the Holy Spirit to come, come Holy Spirit, and use me today. Come Holy Spirit, fill my mouth with your words. And then, you know, if, you, if you're unsure, ask somebody that, that does do it. Or if you want to learn more, be with them. Ask them, can I, can I stand with you? Can I just be near you? Or can I ask you how you do it? So, you know, there's, there's many ways you can um, 
be in the prophetic worship moment. And I think, again, it all stems with your relationship with God, coming mm -hmm. back to um, your first love. Um, another way is just listening to the music itself. I believe wholeheartedly that when we play music, um, there's something very spiritual in that. And, and God uses music as well you know, to cast out your fears, anxieties. Um, it's a bit like in the Bible when David plays the lyre to King Saul when he was you know, feeling low, depressed or down or mm. frustrated. And uh, the music, what, what was it? He was playing music, he was playing God's music because God was with him. Mm. It states that, it states God was with David when he was playing. And then Saul <clears throat> felt much better afterwards. It's a bit like when we hear music, when we hear somebody else speak out something, it encourages you to, you know, I can, I can be part of that. I can speak out a word. Because who knows what God has given you. Mm. Um, it, it could be for somebody else to help them in their life walk with God. Um, so I would encourage people to uh, practice at home, listening to music. I would also encourage people to read uh, other stories, what God is doing in other churches, mm. um, as well as the Bible, of course, because that's a, a great source. Um, I think another lovely thing is when you're reading a piece of scripture, whatever captures you in a piece of scripture use your own words you know read it and put your own words into them and then either sing it out or say it out you don't like you said you don't have to be a singer you don't have to be a musician god's given us a mouth that we can speak out mm. so yeah i encourage them to try it out you've got nothing to lose mm. because it's going to build somebody up it's going to encourage somebody um, in their faith and, uh, and also it encourages you mm. and to continue uh, walking in your faith with Jesus. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a wonderful time at our church. In this season, you know, we're seeing the Lord moving and um, bringing people to faith. And we just had a wonderful baptism service a couple yeah. of weeks ago that was yeah. just incredible. And, and I'm just wondering, like, what, what are you sensing you know, you, where, as you said, you spent time with the Lord um, in the secret place and in, at the same time in gathered community. What are you sensing God wanting to do in our church? I've been praying about this and I really sense God wants to really elevate us into you know, a higher place of mm. praise and worship. I, he just loves us so much. He loves to hear us sing to him and sing praises to him. I believe God wants us to step up even more. Mm. And that yearning for more of him, for, for heaven just to open a little bit and his presence to be manifested in our worship time. Mm. whereby people can be captured and kind of taken up like like on the wings of, e of an eagle that's soaring to another level, another place. We we're ready. We we're, we're halfway there. It's stepping up to the next level. And with our praises and really from the, the pit of our belly out comes this praise because I really sense God is saying to us in that there's joy, mm. even though you know some of us might be really struggling um, in in our uh, in our lives. Mm. But it's that 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 sense of you know He so wants to hear us speak to Him, and one of the ways we can speak to Him is through our praises. Mm. So I really feel that. The church is so united together in our praises to God, but it's like stepping up into that even more and, and wanting to see a bit of heaven 
open and come down. And he wants to uh, see his people sense his presence to the power of the Holy Spirit. So yeah, it's that elevating of worship time. Um, and there's more to be had. I believe God wants us to cry out more to him, to yearn for more of him through our prophetic worship, through our worship together, just living lives together as church. Um, and when we're together in unity, something powerfully happens to our hearts because he wants us to know him. He has a desire for us to know him. And one of the ways is through us being together on a Sunday morning and having more of a prophetic worship time together. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Would you, it's been so wonderful to chat. Would you be up for praying that for us as a church? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. Um, Father God, through the power of your Holy Spirit, ignite the flame ignite the flame again in each and every one of us to hear your still voice in us. Father, use us so we can go out and tell others of your greatness and how much you want to love them even more. So Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you for igniting our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for the yearning that we have for you. Thank you, Father God, for your love for each and every person that comes, not just to Croydon Vineyard, but all the churches around Croydon. We want more of you manifesting yourself, your presence upon this land, so more can hear about you, the lost, the lonely, the broken, that will come and sense that you love them. Encourage us, Lord. Give us confidence to step up and praise you more and more in unity. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Antoinette, thank you so much. It's been so wonderful to chat. Thank you. Thank you for having me.